We know that holiday travel has rebounded. Still, some are a bit wary of exposing themselves to things like COVID or the other respiratory viruses out there like flu and RSV. WRL's investigative data journalist Ali Ingersoll is at the airport for us. Very busy there. Last time I was at the airport, which wasn't that long ago, I wasn't seeing the same amount of people wearing masks as we did, you know, months or even a year ago. What are the precautions like out there today? Yeah, Dan, the airports this year look significantly different than they did last year, and that's for a couple of reasons. They're pretty packed today. More than 38,000 people expected to travel through RDU just today alone. Another reason, though, the lack of masks. Just looking around, we really aren't seeing them like we were last year or even the year before. We talked to some local doctors. They said that they would be wearing them out here as well as on their planes and on their flights. And we also asked them what else they would be doing to stay safe this holiday season. The most wonderful time of the year happens to come as coughs come back and airborne viruses take flight too. Is all of this holiday hustle and bustle among the crowds worth it? There's a lot of, that goes into that formula that you have to use to calculate whether or not you're going to take that risk. WREL sent an informal survey to doctors at Duke and UNC asking them what they feel comfortable doing right now. We've sent around this same survey several times over the last two years. And for the first time, there were more yeses than nos, with some caveats, of course. While most doctors said that they'd eat indoors at a restaurant, all commented on the capacity, steering clear if too many seats are full. As for heading to a movie theater or a Canes game, only one no from the dozen doctors, but everyone mentioned they'd remain masked. As for outdoor activities like skating, most said they'd attend as long as there's some social distancing. Risk mitigation is, is acceptable. You are lowering your risk. So just see, see what you're tolerant about, but use information and don't be in denial that, you know, when you're making these decisions. Now, Dr. Wall says it's not too late to get vaccinated, get your flu shot, get your booster shot. He says that will add an extra layer of protection if you're traveling this holiday season to see your loved ones and family and friends. Makes sense. Allie Ingersoll live from RDU. Thanks, Allie.